Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new unboxing and today we have something interesting because this is a pretty large unboxing in fact it's the largest one we've had on the channel so far and by largest I mean three aircraft uh, I know it's not all too big but it's still quite a lot of planes with the fact that uh, having these three planes it, they triple my collection <laughs> because uh, I had uh, only three 1 to 500 aircraft about three months ago. I had Thai Airways uh, 777 200. This is a Sky 500 model, so that's why the box is so boring. Uh, Iceland Air 757 200 and the Swiss A2 2300. All of these aircraft, wait, hold on, let me just get them better in frame. Anyways, all of these aircraft, uh, I've had them for two years. Uh, like I said, I paused a bit with the airliner or airline models collecting, I guess, since it was a bit pricey and so on. But now when I have the money finally and everything, I'm, I'm back to it. And this time it's definitely going to be permanent, I think. But uh, yeah, either way, let's get to the unboxing. I'm not going to say yet what aircraft these are, since uh, I mean, it's... It's a pretty big unboxing and I want to keep some excitement on here. Let's just get to the unboxing. So I'm, I'm using this uh, homemade knife that I made. It's pretty cool though. I mean, it's, it's pretty sick to be a homemade knife. So yeah. All right. So uh, let's just get to cutting here. It's not the perfect knife, but it's pretty good actually. It's sharp. But I don't know how practical it is for opening a box like this. Alright, so let's get all of this tape out of the way. I think that should be it. Maybe this too. There we go. Alright, let's see here. Come on, I don't want to, oh, all right, all good. <laughs> Damn, this is a pretty cool box. Let's see if these are the correct aircraft. If they're not, I'm gonna cry, seriously, but. All right, yeah, that's definitely the correct aircraft. How about this one? Yep, that's also the correct aircraft, and the last one, which is a shorter aircraft. Yep, that's it. Alright, we have all of the aircraft. Let's just put this to the side. Alright, so let's just start with the first aircraft, which uh, is the smaller one, aka the more boring one. Even though it's not all too boring, if you ask me, but uh, yeah, the box is a bit damaged, as you can see there. First aircraft, Air France A318, Airbus A318, basically. Um, yeah, this is my first A318 in the scale of 1 to 500, and like generally, I've never had one of these. It's the more unpopular version of the, the Airbus A320 series, I guess. It's still a pretty cool aircraft, don't get me wrong, but there's not a lot of them made, so it's pretty cool, actually. Now, Air France does operate the A318. It's pretty famous for operating the A318, especially to Zurich. Uh, although it has uh, decreased slightly nowadays because Air France has bought a bunch of A22300s. Uh, so those are flying to Zurich now as well, but the Air France A318 still operates to Zurich, and they have quite a lot of these. So yeah, let's just uh, start with opening it. And uh, yeah, the box is a bit damaged, like I said, but that's the, the, uh, the other boxes are in good condition. So the, this is the only one that has a slight sign of damage. And what's interesting about this, I can see that a stand comes with the aircraft. So that is pretty interesting. That's not something you should expect with a lot of uh, Herpa models, but this one did come with it, and I'm pretty 
pretty excited about that. All right, so take the lid off. And here it is. Look how tiny that is. Holy. It is not a big aircraft. All right, so we begin with the cockpit here. Uh, as you can see, it has your regular A320 type of windows. It does feature cockpit windows, which is also nice. And uh, I think this front looks a bit better than the newer Herpa A320 series. I don't know if it is actually any different, but this kind of looks better when I think about comparing it to the Scandinavian A320 I have. This kind of looks better. And yeah, underneath the windows you have the some sort of marking. I forgot what it's called, but it's something Herpa does usually not add on their aircraft, but it's a pretty nice addition now. Uh, and so you got the uh, front door there as well. Moving over here to the fuselage, you have the Air France branding. Uh, you also have the luggage compartment down there as you can see. Moving to the engines and the wings, you have some emergency markings uh, underneath the emergency window. And uh, the engines, in my opinion, look pretty nice. They have added some uh, markings and details on the engines which Herpa usually does not do on their engines. I just want to point that out. And it does look nice now. And it's, it's pretty cool that they have added a lot of details on this small aircraft. It is tiny. Uh, and yeah, moving over here, we have another luggage compartment. And above it, we have a sat dome or uh, Wi-Fi box, as I call it. Uh, and so on, you got the a registration of the aircraft and uh, the Sky Team logo underneath the windows there, uh, which Air France is a member of. And yeah, I mean, the tail, I guess, uh, it has the Air France uh, colors and uh, logo, I guess. The APU is also painted uh, in like a silver gray metallic color, which is also nice. And yeah, I mean, I can also point out that the uh, aircraft uh, stand uh, hole is there as well, which the aircraft does not come with. Uh, it's sad because, you know, it's, they put a hole there for no reason in an aircraft model and they don't feature this. And something that is worth for me to point out now while we're looking at the bottom of the aircraft. This aircraft, uh, like I said before, did come with a stand. So that's pretty interesting. Herpa usually does not do that to most of their aircraft models. So it's pretty nice to see a aircraft stand with this model. And yeah, I mean the landing gear, they look pretty nice. They're fairly detailed uh, and so on. I mean, and that's pretty much it for this aircraft. I am pretty like happy to see Herpa put a lot of details in this aircraft. It looks really, really nice. And like compare, this this landing gear it just looks somewhat like I don't know it looks somewhat better uh, than what they have recently done for example to their A220s the la front landing gear looks a bit too big but you know it's what they do nowadays but yeah this is a really nice aircraft model I really like it actually so uh, if you're looking to buy an A318 by Air France and uh, obviously one to five hundred scale by Herpa. I really recommend this one. It is really nice and it has basically all of the details you need. So uh, yeah, let's move to the next aircraft. And of course, since my airport is located in Zurich, I just needed to get another Swiss aircraft model. And this aircraft model is a long haul aircraft model, obviously. It's a Swiss A340-300. And by that, I also mean that this is my first long haul uh, aircraft of Swiss Airlines in the scale of 1 to 500. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much else to go through the box. I mean, I've complained before about this box, you know, the fully like see through clear back as well. I, I prefer a look like this, but you know, Herpa does their thing now. And yeah, let's just get to the unboxing. Let's just open that and 
Oh my god, this is absolute. I really love just by looking at it like this. It looks really cool. All right, so Swiss has retired uh, one of their A340s. They used to have uh, five, five of those, and they have four right now. So uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know how long it will take for Swiss to retire all of their A340s, but they're definitely gonna fly them for a while, so I won't have to worry about that. And it's either way a really nice model. So yeah, all right, let's just begin with the details. You know what, I'm gonna turn it on the other side because I can go through the details a bit easier. All right, so beginning with the front, you have uh, your regular Swiss A330, A340 type front, which I really love about Herpaz models. They make it like really good. Uh, and yeah, you got the cockpit window wipers as Herpa usually adds in their newer models. Uh, and uh, underneath the windows, I suppose that's the aircraft's name, which is not visible. Uh, unfortunately, but I mean it's such a small detail. I understand Herpa's logic there. And uh, next to the front uh, front doors, you can see the Star Alliance logo, which Swiss is a member of. And speaking of Swiss, we have the big red, beautiful text of Swiss, which is also like I love Swiss's livery, even though it's fairly simple. It has that nice Euro white. Swiss, I don't know, it just gives the vibes like of Switzerland itself, so it's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, so up there we have a Wi Fi box, which I suppose is for the business and first class, uh, so I suppose it is a bit better than your regular economy, economy and premium economy internet, which is back there, as you can see. Uh, and yeah. You got some details underneath the Swiss text as well, which is pretty nice. And yeah, moving to the engines and wings, you can see the engines have some markings, uh, which Sherpa's added, and I also like that. Uh, and yeah, since it is a A340, it has four engines, so it's a bit like, it's more unique than your regular A330, I guess. So that's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, uh, moving a bit more to the back, you can, oops, uh, you can find the registration, which is HBJMH. Uh, I did not mention Air France's uh, registration, I think, but it's fine. I mean, you all can see it. I don't even know why I'm pointing that out and saying it, but you know. Uh, and I mean, moving over to the back, we have the. As you can see, Swiss Airlines logo, which is literally just a Swiss flag. Even though if it is simple, it is really nice. I just love Swiss's livery. I, it's absolutely beautiful. And at the back, you can see the APU, which is painted in silver, which is also quite nice. And yeah, I mean, there's not much else to it. You got luggage compartments as well. I did not mention that. It looks pretty nice. It's worth... Uh, paying for it I mean I paid like 30 no way less actually I paid like 25 euros for it I mean I ordered it from Sweden so I got it a bit cheaper since I like live outside of Sweden but yeah I have to pay for shipping and so on I mean let's just move to the underside or the belly of the aircraft and uh, yeah, you have the registration of the aircraft uh, and I did not point out actually that the winglets have the Swiss branding as well or I maybe did, I don't even remember but uh, yeah, uh, main landing gear and uh, which is interesting about the A340 it has that middle, as you can see, middle landing gear I guess it looks pretty cool, I mean it has some extra weight to it because of the engines, so it was necessary for Airbus to add it. And uh, yeah, the main landing gear are fairly nicely detailed. Uh, the aircraft uh, comes with a uh, stand hole, which basically any other Herpa model does. Uh, although this aircraft does not come with a aircraft stand like the Air France did. But I'm not gonna complain really. Uh, and yeah, moving over to the front, 
as you can see the front landing gear uh, it looks also pretty nice and fairly good detailed uh, I mean you can see that it even has that extra oops <laughs> it has that extra compartment there for the landing gear which is also a really nice addition that Herco has added I don't know if my Air Serbia A330 has that or not but it looks pretty cool and it's a small touch that just makes it look a bit more realistic which I really like and uh, yeah I mean for this aircraft that was pretty much it uh, I mean I can also show these uh, the flaps slats and spoilers which are also nicely added on there they're nicely printed in there and same with the back here yeah so that that includes everything for the Swiss A340-300, which is a really nice model. I might have to get another one because, you know, Zurich Airport, it serves as the hub for Swiss Airlines. So, yeah. Let's move to the next aircraft, which I think is the most interesting one. And the last aircraft, but the best aircraft for this unboxing, actually. Uh, it will be my first Middle Eastern uh, uh, aircraft uh, in the scale of 1 to 500, which I mean, I am pretty happy to have because it's such a nice livery. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just get it in front of us. All right, so it is the Etihad Boeing 787 9 Dreamliner in the Choose so uh, Saudi Arabia livery. Now, I picked this livery because uh, there there was another choose livery, except it was a 787-10. Now that is my favorite livery of all of the like choose uh, choose liveries that Etihad uh, has on their aircraft. But unfortunately, the 787-10 does not operate to Zurich, so I had no other choice but to get this. Now this is my second favorite of the choose liveries that Etihad has on their 787s. And I'm not going to complain, it is really lovely the way it is. So uh, let's just, you know what, let's just check out the box real quick and, and we'll start unboxing it. So yeah, I mean, there's not much else to say, it's a Etihad aircraft. It's just a really nice livery, so yeah, and once again Herpa and their problem with uh, <laughs> the back boxes oh and I did not mention this is a limited edition aircraft so uh, that's pretty nice let's just open it so uh, yeah we'll start here open it carefully since this aircraft is like really nice I mean I just love it I don't know and speaking of Etihad and nice liveries uh, one Etihad livery I really like is the F1 uh, 787 livery that Etihad has and uh, yeah we got the aircraft outside the box now so I should move it somewhere where we can check it out a bit better all right so we have the aircraft somewhere a bit more nicer now so I can make this a bit better well uh, yeah, beginning with the front, you can see the like nice 787 uh, looking windows and I really love the 787 mold that Herpa has. It looks really nice and pretty darn accurate to the real thing. And yeah, cockpit window wipers, what else is there to say? I mean, uh, yeah, it also has a emergency hatch above the cockpit windows there as you can see. And yeah, I mean, front landing gear looks somewhat decent, I guess. I don't know if that's like... Wait, hold on, let me just check. Yeah, I think that's a bit of mispainting down there, as you can see. But that's, I mean, I'm not going to look at that. I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. it. It's just such a small thing. But yeah, front doors, it has the flag of the UAE right next to it. So that's nice. Moving over here, we have uh, the Etihad uh, text, I guess, Etihad logo. And uh, it says Etihad, I suppose, in Arabic, that is. And I don't know what it says down here. I'm supposing that it says choose Saudi Arabia. 
I guess. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know Arabic, so I can't really tell. And yeah, moving over to the middle fuselage, you can see like the Sat Dome or Saturn Dome or Wi Fi box, easier for me to say. And uh, yeah, I mean, the engines, looking at them, wow. I love the details on them too. I mean, they have that nice, I don't know what you should call that back there. It has those like sharp triangle looking. I don't know, but you get what I mean. The engines look really nice. They have markings as well, as you can see. Uh, and uh, yeah, moving a bit more to the back, you can see the livery, how it's going really nicely with this aircraft. Blue, yellow, and gold, bronzish. It's like every sort of color, and it really looks nice. And uh, on the back, it says uh, etihad.com. Uh, and uh, the registration of the aircraft, A6BLN. And uh, yeah, you got the back door and uh, so on. I mean, I guess I can point out that the tail has... Uh, I think this is the logo of Emirates actually. Uh, the delivery of Emirates, I guess. It, it, let's just call this the logo, okay? Don't blame me if it's not. And uh, yeah, the APU also has a bit of like grayish on it, which is also nice. And uh, yeah, flap slats and spoilers really nicely on there. Uh, and uh, yeah, since it is a 787-9 or every 787 has this and it is the wings that are a bit bent. As you can see, they are a bit bent towards like they, they go upwards as you can see there. It looks pretty nice. And yeah, by looking at the aircraft, it looks just really nice. And uh, luggage compartments, I don't know if I said that, but uh, it has them. You can't just see them all too good because of the text, but you know, they're there. They are definitely there. And uh, yeah, I mean, the underside as well, it has the License and registration or registration actually. I don't know why I always say license, but <laughs> you know uh, And yeah, Etihad branding uh, on the belly of the aircraft the main landing gear front landing gear uh, I don't know. No, the front actually does not have those extra compartments for the front landing gear like the a340 had and Obviously like I've said before it the Etihad logo or any logo in general uh, of any airline gets ruined by this little stand hole, which the aircraft did not come with. But uh, yeah, that the features or includes everything for the Etihad 787-9, which I really like. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's put all of the unboxed aircraft next to each other. I decided to put the Air France on the stand just to let you all know how it looks like and yeah that was actually everything for this unboxing i'm sorry that i had to speed through it a bit i'm i'm currently a bit in a rush uh, i want to work on my airport i'm trying to get as much time as possible for today but uh yeah it ended up being a bit of a speeded through process and unboxing but i mean it is what it is now uh I just want to keep you all updated in time with what aircraft I'm getting and so on. And yeah, with all of that being said, have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.